Kevinan, it's your old friend Ichi Mochi. Today we're going to talk about something a little different. Um, something you may not know about me is I don't always go out riding on a Harley or looking for adventure with Val. Uh, I try to switch it up quite a bit and thanks to her uh, she comes up with some pretty good ideas. One, one thing that I've always been talented with was art. And I don't use it that much but uh, it is something that I've done from time to time and even uh, on my job I've, I've uh, been asked to use some of my talents there from time to time. But uh, Val found this thing on Facebook and it was uh, from a Facebook group called Northeast Ohio Rocks and we're going to talk about this whole new fad of rock painting and rock hiding today. So what exactly is this whole deal behind rock painting? Well, it's where you take rocks and you paint them and you adhere a label on the back and then you hide them. The whole idea is to create something nice and to give it away. So as the rocks are painted, uh, you want to put positive uh, things on them, like this one that says joy that V painted. Or how about this one, uh, you are possum, the little kitty on there. Something just as simple as a uh, smile, something that makes somebody's day a little brighter. This bigger one that I did, uh, it's a new day, and it's got like a sunrise on there on the wall, across the water. Some of them are real simple. Uh, this rock here, uh, it's just the natural rock itself. It wasn't really painted. We just put some letters on there, uh, rejoice. So, but you can do anything you want with these rocks. You can paint anything you want on them. So, uh, we like camping, so we did this one of the camper. And I'm not sure we're going to give all these away. Val kind of likes some of these, so we might keep some of the nicer ones. There's a sugar skull that I worked on, and I put a lot of effort and work into this, but uh, a lot of intricate uh, artwork on this one. I'm not sure if <laughs> she wants to give that one away or not. She might hang on to some of these and keep them in our own collection. But the whole idea is to create and then to give the to give them away. And somebody would likely pick this up and find it, and you never know who's going to find them. It could just brighten their day. Now what all are you going to need to paint rocks? Well first of all you're going to need the rocks. We have uh, some of the rocks we've collected here. Uh, they're just natural rocks that, that we picked up, some nicer ones. The flat ones work really well. Uh, you can find these in all different shapes and sizes. Here's one that's kind of triangular shaped. Uh, let's see, she used a triangle one to paint this. So. Uh, and then we have some some big round ones. You know, I actually used a round one uh, to do this one. You know, it's a big round rock. And you don't want to get too big with them. You know, you'll you'll want to keep something small you can stick in your pocket and easily hide. Uh, when you start getting, you know, this size, this is pretty heavy and big, and I mean it would fill up your pocket, so it might be kind of hard to tote around and not so easy to hide. So once you have the rocks, uh, you're gonna need paints, you're gonna need brushes. So here's what we got. And most all this stuff Val picked up at Walmart. So we've got a whole set of metallic paints. And these are kind of shiny metallic colors. You have silver, uh, you have uh, bronze and gold, and uh, even like a sparkly, uh, sea color or water color then these are the opaque solid colors so she also picked out in almost every color in the rainbow of, of these and again she got these at Walmart I think they were 50 cents a piece so she's got all the different uh, colors here and the ones you're going to use a lot of black and white especially for lettering and stuff she also has a bottle of this sparkly uh, fingernail polish, which works really well. And you'll see that's what was used on this sugar skull to do around the edges, all the sparkly on that. 
Uh, we also have these paint pens, uh, which are fine tip for lettering. They work really well for that. We have a set of paint brushes, all different types of, of tips on there, from you know a fine tip to to broader. <coughs> A little pencil for you know marking out your your diagram before you paint and another interesting tool that we've used is these nails now you'll see uh, the nail heads have paint on them that's because you dip them into the bottle of paint and then you stick it on the rock so this rock was created or this paint job was created just by using nail heads to make the dots and the big dots were placed on first. Now we went back with a real small nail and put the little dots on top of the big dots. I have my reading glasses here so I can see to do fine work. And I also have a cup of warm water, some paper towels. And I think once I have all that assembled, I'm ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is pick out a rock over here. What do you guys think? Let's choose this one. Looks like a pretty easy, simple one to start with. First thing I'm going to want to do with this rug is paint it white. Put a base coat on there. So I will take the... Take my brush and get it damp a little bit. Dip it in the water. Then I'm going to dry it on this paper towel, make sure that it's nice and dry before I dip it in the paint. Load up the brush, and I'm just going to paint this rock white. Just solid white. And I like to do it on newspaper because it kind of gives me a surface to spin around on and if I get paint on the newspaper no big deal we also have this plastic tablecloth though to protect the, the table so we don't get paint on it okay that was easy the rocks all painted white now and make sure to put the lid back on my bottle so I don't spill it <coughs> And make sure I clean my brush out real good and get all the paint out of there. And again, I'm going to dry that brush out. So now my white rock's painted all white. And it's dry. These acrylic paints dry really fast. And I picked this sparkly purple, so we're going to see how that looks. I should probably shake it first, so always make sure you shake your paints real good before you start painting with them. And I'm going to choose a uh, nice wide brush. Get it wet, a little damp. And then I'm going to dip it into my purple, and we're just going to start painting over the white with it. Now these are, this is a metallic purple, so it has some sparkly stuff in it, and uh, real pretty. It kind of looks like a night sky, so I will paint that on there very nice and evenly, make sure I get all the sides covered first and then I'll kind of go back over it with my brush just kind of take the brush marks out very carefully <clears throat> I think I'm going to put a little, a little heavier on there just put a little bit more on there You can get these metallic paints, you can get a little too thin, and then they don't quite look right. So, But you can see, you'll, you'll need the white base underneath them, or they won't work right. You, they, uh, 
if you're just painting over black or something with these metallic paints the black's going to kind of show right up through it and uh, you're not going to like the results and again as we do with all of these after they're painted you have to wait for them to dry out that brush again make sure we get all the paint out of there and then dry it on the paper towel and then cap off your paint so it doesn't dry out or so you don't spill it now I'm gonna let that dry now sometimes while I'm waiting for one rock to dry I'll just grab another one and start painting it and get at least get a base coat on it. So we'll get some white on this rock and then as it's drying I can work on the other one. So you can actually work on you know a couple rocks at a time and that way you always have something something to paint. And then again we'll just set that there and let that dry. And in a few minutes, they dry pretty quick. That one will be dry, and it'll be ready to paint. In the meantime, we're still waiting for this purple one. Now when I paint these rocks, I, I take a look at them, and <clears throat> look at that rock. V says it looks like a dog. So I'm gonna try to paint that to look like a dog. And I'm an artist, but I'm no Picasso, so here's what I like to do uh, since I'm not real good or familiar with dogs I think I might be able to make that look like a beagle so I pull it up on my phone and I'm gonna have that sitting there and I'm gonna kind of use that for a model to paint this uh, the first thing I'm probably gonna do is take the pencil and I'm going to draw on here, kind of give me a little outline of how I want this dog to look. Now I've been working on the dog a little bit, so it's coming along. I've been kind of looking at the picture there. In the meantime, this purple one is dry to the touch. So I'm going to go on with the next step with that. So being that I think I want it to be like a sparkly night sky, I'm going to use some of this uh, gold fingernail polish that has the sparklies in it. And I'm gonna start putting that on. And I'm gonna cake that on there. You gotta really get down in there and get the sparklies out. And then, and then just kinda lay it on the top there. You can see how it's really 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 getting sparkly I like that I really like that so something just as simple as that can make a rock look absolutely gorgeous and I'm not going to go down over the sides too much, just on the top there, so. But now I'm going to let that dry. Pretty nice. And then I'll put some letters on there. I'm trying to come up with some ideas of, you know, what I can write on there, too. And I'll probably use this white uh, paint pen for that. Now that's drying. Set it off to the side, and I'll go back to working on my little dog. Okay, now our purple one's pretty dry. I can touch it 
nothing comes off of there, so I think it's ready to be lettered. And I'm going to use this white fine tip marker. We'll make sure that it it's loaded. And these you you push down and pump them to load the paint on there. And you don't want it to be too thick on there; or it'll be it'll blob. And then I'm going to start up here and mark out my letters. And I'll probably go over it a second time after that dries just to make it a little bit bolder. And just touching up the letters a little bit more so you can read them a little better. The pup, uh, the dog's coming along just fine. Kind of looks like a dog, I guess. Now before we put a clear coat on there, <clears throat> we want to decoupage our label on there. This is from Northeast Ohio Rocks and it's a Facebook page. Uh, find us on Facebook at North o East Ohio Rocks. That's where Val got this idea originally. Um, I think there's rock uh, groups all over the country, but this one is for Northeast Ohio. And it says on here, post a picture and rehide me. Use my hashtag to follow me, and our hashtag is m and Rocks. So how do I get that on there? It's pretty easy. We're gonna use this Mod Podge. And this is a gloss Mod Podge. I'm going to use a pretty good sized brush here. I already have one that's moist, so I'm going to dry it off on the paper towel like I do before I start any kind of painting. And then the first thing I'm going to do is take some of this Mod Podge. You'll see it's kind of a clear, almost like Elmer's gluey and paint it onto the bottom of the rock. Leave it, you know, fairly thick and put it on an area big enough to, to take this. And then you're gonna take and you're gonna push that right down onto there. Then you're gonna take a nice generous amount and glob it right on top of there. And it'll moisten the label up and it'll just kind of help it to, to uh, mold to the shape of the rock. I'm going to do the whole back of the rock with Mod Podge, and it'll just kind of seal it, because see, I didn't paint the back of the rock. It's uh, just natural stone. I'm going to push down on that, make sure it's glued down real good, and then kind of move this stuff around so it's not globby, you know, smooth it out. It'll dry better. you don't have any edges of your paper sticking up or anything like that either that would be ideal there you go it's all mod podged on there and this is well all this paint is water-based so it all cleans up in water no use for paint thinner or anything like that so just rinse it out real good otherwise your brushes will get though when they dry out they'll get hard now here's the last step uh, for our rocks before we put them out we want to seal them so I've got this uh, you know hardware cloth wire on some newspaper it'll just keep them from sticking I set them on there and then I've got this uh, crystal clear enamel and always make sure that you shake it up real good before you use it swirl the bottom of the can shake it and then we're going to just gently apply a nice sweeping motion make sure I go around the edges on the back and I'll probably put a couple coats on those, but you can see it really brings out the colors and makes them look really nice. 
and then they'll be ready to take out and hide. Now remember, the most important thing is, yeah, I put a lot of work into this, and it looks pretty nice, and I, I, my wife would like to keep it. My wife would like to keep all of these rocks. But the idea is that they're gifts. So you take them out, you hide them somewhere, and you don't really hide them, you set them somewhere where somebody will find it. And perhaps whoever finds it, it'll make their day a little brighter. That's the whole idea behind the, uh, the rock, the new rock craze, the new rock painting craze. So for me, it's fun. It's something I can do instead of watching TV. It's relaxing and uh, lets me use my artistic talent a little bit and I get to share it with others. Uh, if you want to find our rocks, you're going to have to look in Northeast Ohio. Uh, v and I like to hike, so you'll most likely find them in places that we go hiking. Uh, we, we leave them along the trail on park benches or, or shoulders or around a monument or something. Uh, that's where you'll find them. And if you don't find ours, you're likely to find somebody else's rock. So good luck with your rock hunting check out the Facebook page Northeast Ohio Rocks and you'll see all kinds of rocks that people have painted. You'll see the people that find them, the people that hide them. It's, it's a pretty cool thing. So V and I are really enjoying it. Until next time, you guys. Uh, make your life a great adventure, too.